No cow activity. Freezy, freezy. What up? You are officially locked in to No Captivity with Freezy, where we tackle issues that sometimes have us trapped in this thing that we call life. But if you know me, you know my motto. To free yourself, you must heal yourself. Let me hear you say it. To free yourself, you must heal yourself. And if you're rock with your boy Freezy, please hit the like and subscribe button hard right now. And also, Comment and share this video. That is if you're rock with your boy, Freezy. Today we got a lot to cover. A lot has happened to Jamie Foxx, Jackie O, and Tavi Batty. But before I get started, I just want to talk about something that's really been on my mind and been on my heart, especially all these freaky chain of events. Now, I don't know if y'all thinking the same way I'm thinking, but it's a lot of weird shit been going on. Now y'all already know, I believe in the man above. And I also believe that the times that we living in, if you ain't spiritually protected, you out here naked. This one here for the thug. For the thug. I'm sorry, it's just too much going on. Is anybody else thinking the same way I'm thinking? Leave it in the comment section. And I'm not even talking about with celebrities. Just personally, people I know around my way, or just regular people across the nation. The tone of this world shows evidence of the wrath of God all over the damn place. Now, if you're an atheist, this might not be for you. But y'all know I get words of wisdom from the Most High at the end of every show. So this shouldn't come as a surprise to none of y'all. No cap. Activity. First up, we're gonna discuss Tavi Batty. I didn't know too much about her because I don't really be heavy on the influencer scene like that. I know a few here and there, but I'm not really that big on it. But apparently, Tavi Batty had been moving up the popularity scale for some time now. And she was also a stripper based out of the city of Atlanta. And we all know it goes down in the ATL. No cow activity. Y'all stop acting like y'all don't know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. But this whole incident is weird and crazy. She's holding the birthday cake in her hand because she had just got through celebrating her 31st birthday days before she was deleted in an Uber coming home from a nice work at the Allure Script Club. Now what I do have for you guys is the exclusive police call from the Uber driver that was transporting her at the time. Y'all check this out. Somebody shot, shot us. Where are you? I don't know which street I am, but somebody shot. Someone shot at your car? Uh, no, somebody shot in my car. I was a poor driver. Hey, listen, I need to know where you are. Lindbergh, Lindbergh. Lindbergh and what, Piedmont? Yeah, somebody shot, somebody killed in my car. Okay, listen, I need to know where you are. Are you at Lindbergh and Piedmont? Lindbergh and the Adina. Okay, hold on. I'm going to put the ambulance on the line. Hold on. Okay. Grady EMS, operator 992, what's the address of your emergency? Hey, Grace Atlanta, he said he's at Lindbergh Drive and Adina mm -hmm. Drive. Sir, are you saying someone is inside your car shot or you, you, did your car get shot? No, some, no, somebody in my car is shot. Okay, the person, is they breathing? Uh, yeah, I see, some breathing. Do you have it yet, Grady? Lindbergh Drive and Adina Drive, someone shot in his car. This one here for the thug. Thug, thug, thug. Now apparently at the time, the Uber driver said that Tavi was still breathing a little bit. But by the time the paramedics got there, she was already pronounced deceased at the scene. No cow activity. Now according to the reports, as the Uber driver was driving, some assailants pulled up beside him, got out, and showered his Escalade truck with over 20 shots. And miraculously, the driver did not get hit, not one time. But unfortunately for Tavi, she did not survive the attack. But what was the reason for the attack? What was the reason for these people making it their business that they took poor Tavi Batty out? These questions have not been answered, even though this incident is under full investigation. So y'all pray for Tavi's family and friends that this tragic episode doesn't remain unsolved. Now up next, we have one of Wildin' Out's family members, Jackie O. 
Now, Jackie Yo was the girlfriend of DC Youngfly, and they had just had a baby not too long ago. According to reports, they met on a set in 2015. So they've had a long-standing relationship, which makes it more heartbreaking how this young lady lost her life. Wild and Out star Miss Jackie Yo, the partner of DC Youngfly, dies at 32. And it reads, The MTV Wild and Out star reportedly died in Miami, where she had traveled to undergo a mummy makeover surgery. According to a since-deleted social media, Post. Her cause of death is not yet known. No captivity. And last but not least, the most peculiar happening of them all, Jamie Foxx. Now, Jamie Foxx has been in the news quite frequently, following him working on another movie. Now, I've heard all kinds of stuff surrounding Jamie Foxx and what's been going on with him. First, I heard he went to a police station and he was claiming that somebody was trying to kill him. And later on, that person was allegedly supposed to be P. Diddy. This one here for the thug. For the thug. Now, I know y'all done heard all this stuff that I'm saying, but the events surrounding Jamie Foxx keeps getting weirder and weirder and weirder. No captivity. So after that, something happened to him. He fell out or something like that, and he had to get rushed to the hospital. Now, while he was in the hospital, everybody was trying to figure out what happened to him. Somebody told me somebody put something in his drink. Then later on, I heard he had a stroke. Now, the well-known Dr. Drew claims he has a credible source that something totally different happened to Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx trends after Dr. Drew Pinsky show claims that the actor is paralyzed and blind after COVID-19 vaccination. So the article reads, Twitter is going wild after a well-known Hollywood reporter claimed a person close to Jamie said he had a blood clot on his brain after getting a COVID shot. No captivity. Fox, known for his roles in films like Django Unchained, reportedly developed a blood clot in his brain after receiving the vaccine, according to the Hollywood journalist A.J. Benza. Benza made the claim on a segment of the Ask Dr. Drew show after sources told him Jamie Foxx was hesitant about getting the shot but felt pressure due to the movie he was working on. This one here for the thug. For the thug. Fox's health complications reportedly occurred while filming his latest movie, Back in Action. The production has since moved forward without Fox, using a body double in his place. No captivity. So I'm gonna play some of this video so we could possibly get more details on what happened to Jamie Foxx. It, it seemed to me, you, I saw something, yeah, I saw something about Jamie Foxx that you had mentioned, and we'll get into that in a few minutes, but, and I don't know what happened to Jamie Foxx, but I thought to myself, wow, he can't even tell us what happened, lest somebody should think it's something that's not uh, right with the narrative. Now, why can't they tell what happened to Jamie Foxx? Why is the incident surrounding Jamie Foxx's health condition so secretive? Y'all gotta ask these questions. Well, I think most people in Hollywood are, are on the left anyhow. So, yeah, they, they tow that line. They don't give any indication about vaccinations. They stay away from that. There's a there's a code of silence in Hollywood right now, and it's been that way for the last couple of years, where they're just not going to talk about the vaccination. They're, they're staying away from that hot-button topic. But we all know, any one of us who've done some shows in the last three years or appeared on camera, COVID tests were mandatory. You couldn't work without them. You couldn't go on a set without them. There might have been a couple of instances where they allowed it, but by and large, no, no, they were they were know. ridiculous. So if you're in Hollywood and you signed a contract for millions of dollars, even hundreds of thousands, to be able to fulfill that contract, it was mandatory that you got a COVID shot. Now, we've all heard conspiracy stories when it comes to these celebrities. We've heard about the sacrifices and we've heard about the Illuminati. We've heard a lot of stuff. Now, I myself think it's very peculiar for me to be forced to take a shot that for one, I'm unsure of. And for two, I'm at the mercy of who's ever administering it and possibly the wicked industry that I'm in. I think that this ties into the Jamie Foxx theory. I, I worked my butt off to get a story about why what happened to Jamie Foxx because it was all baloney what they were reporting. He's playing pickleball. He's uh, responding on Instagram. No, he's not. And people do that for you. It's all lies. I had somebody in the room who let me know that Jamie had a blood clot in his brain after he got the shot. He did not want the shot, but the movie he was on, he was pressured to get it this movie he's doing with Cameron Diaz. And I'm thinking, is that why he blew up on the set a week before this medical emergency happened? 
Is that why he fired three or four people? Because he just had had it with these mandates? I don't know. But what I found out from the man in the room was that uh, the blood clot in the brain caused him at that point to be partially paralyzed and blind. Now, I don't know about y'all, but to me, it seems like Mr. Benza is being pretty candid right now. Now, why they tried to hide this, I don't know, but it just doesn't sit right. What y'all think? Because if you read into what they were saying early on, he's communicating with us. That doesn't mean talking. That could be anything. It could be, you know, writing, yeah. sign, you know, I know those little code words. And then when you tell me your father's playing pickleball, Give me a break. You know, I don't know. There's a great shroud of secrecy around Jamie Foxx. He's probably the most multi-talented person we have in Hollywood. Um, but even TMZ is not reporting this. And I know TMZ has got sources in hospitals who give them information, whether it's legal or not. That was a good point. If TMZ is not rushing to report on something like this, it could very well be an inside job that's heavily connected in the industry that Jamie Foxx is in. Let's go home, y'all. So what really did happen to Jamie Foxx? Did he have a stroke? Was somebody actually trying to take him out? Or was Mr. Benza telling the truth? Will we ever find out? I don't know. But one thing I do know, I'm gonna stay close to the most high above. Because in these wicked days and times, there's no telling what can happen or what will happen to anyone or anybody. No captivity. It's always a good time to seek some words of wisdom from the most high above. Oh, there you go. He came to us from Isaiah 41 and 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. So let's stay covered, my No Cap crew. To support stories of this magnitude, of this importance, please send your cash out to dollar sign freezing 1976. And also, the PayPal information is listed below in the description. And I promise you, all sponsors will be recognized. And make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. No captivity with Freezy. No captivity. And hit that notification bell as well so you can be put up on all the latest updates that we release. And like I always tell y'all, to free yourself, you must heal yourself. And until the next time, we out of here. No captivity. Freezy. Freezy. Freezy.